Hey everybody, it's me Sherman, and I came to tell you that I'm scared Margaret has just lost it. She does crazy things now. Really Bad Green Screen Productions presents the Elf Choir. I don't have any time for choir practice. No. So we'll get in our spots and sing some songs. But no. no. Now y'all have to admit that it's been a really long time since I've tortured you with some of my really bad green screen videos. <laughs> New subscribers, I'm really sorry. Hey everybody, it's me Margaret and this week's video is a bunch of reruns, so to speak. For example, these cute little elf hats I've done before. It was uh, last summer, I think, is when I discovered this pattern. And it's a collection of several different type of patterns, like um, the elf and the penguin and the bear, which you could, of course, do in white. He'll be a polar bear. You can change his nose, which she gives instructions for, and that's a koala bear. And um, what else? Oh, a whack-a-mole. <laughs> So, um, actually, did I say it was a paid-for pattern? Yeah, because it is. But it's precious, and I love it. Um, I've made a bunch of these to be done for charity, and then I thought, you know, I'm just going to stick these in a bag and take them with me to Thanksgiving and see if any of the little people want, the, want um, some of these hats. And Maggie was watching me make them, and she said, Mom, I've got a dirty Santa party that I have to attend. That would be great. So, I don't know if you have... Um, what you call this game, but it's a very popular game and it has different names. But it's when uh, everybody buys a present, oftentimes it could be a joke gift or it doesn't have to be. It depends on what the rules or parameters were that people put down for the game. How much to spend and uh, whether you're buying for a male or a female. And sometimes they'll say, buy whatever and sometimes they'll say only funny gifts whatever okay so the deal is is that you all draw a number and the person who has number one gets to open a present first and the person who has number two gets to open the present second however there's a trading factor that goes on through this process you can either keep the gift that you opened or you can say, I want to trade for that one. And somebody else might have something that's really cool. And so you trade the little gift. And um, I think there's a rule that says you can only trade around three times and then that gift is retired. It stays with the third person who, who traded for it. And, um, but anyway, it's fun. I played a lot with the youth groups and, and different things like that. So Maggie thought it would be fun to get one of those funny sweaters or t-shirts that look like a sweater or something cute and then put this with it so i said okay so i made her one that looks pretty much just like this but with brown hair and i love the way their little hoodies come off and go back on and they have the little pointed ears <laughs> i just think they're so cute so now this one actually 
I started last year and I, I talked about it in a video as a matter of fact and I had it almost done I explained to you how I did this. It's actually one strand of fun fur and one strand of regular yarn, but there were factors involved to make it size right. And I'll link to that video in case you're interested in doing it like this instead of plain brown yarn. But um, anyway, I never finished it. And the reason why is because I kept thinking, well, gosh, if I put black eyes on him, you, you know, and with his black nose, you really wouldn't be able to see it well. And so what I did was this morning, as a matter of fact, is I found some old buttons and I sewed them on and then I glued these wiggly eyes on him. Now, I don't think these are washable. I think you could probably hand wash. I don't know. But this is just a fun little hat. And what happens if these mess up? You just clip off the buttons and do it again. So it's not a big deal. But I thought that was absolutely adorable. Now, this penguin, I had a hard time with the instructions for his beak. I didn't understand exactly what she was describing. So I had a cat in my lap at the time and didn't want to get up. And so I started kind of playing with things myself. And I ended up doing like, it's a Tunisian type crochet stitch. I just did it with a regular. Uh, crochet hook because I was sort of stuck in my chair, but I, yeah, I, I like it best. I like it better than whatever it was I was creating, and maybe I wasn't understanding her instructions. I don't know, but it just, it wasn't coming out to like the picture, so I fixed it. I did it my way, and I fixed it, and one other thing is I used the Red Heart uh, self-striping yarn that's that I think it's called Team Spirit Team, Sp Team, Team Spirit I think it is and so it naturally changes the colors you don't have to cut anything or whatever and so I really of course didn't like those jogs where the color changed so I found exactly in the front where it did not do that <laughs> that's what I called my front and then when I was doing this it started going into the blue for, for this thing and I said no 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 so I ended up pulling out all the blue and attaching only the red just to get this in like this so my advice don't use team sport or some sort of stripe wide stripe um, yarn for the sweater on that because it just didn't work out right but live and learn okay I just had another thought I did the red ones first this is Vanna's Choice. It's made out of soft pink, the color of Vanna's Choice. And I love this for Caucasian skin, especially for things like babies or whatever. I think it's a great kind of color. And I, as a matter of fact, it was on clearance, so I hope they're not discontinuing it. I'll have to find another one. And then I did this out of Red Heart Super Saver Cherry Red. And because I find Red Heart to be a little stiff and scratchy, I made just the hat part, all of this, and before I sewed on the ears or whatever, I threw it in the washing machine to soften it up. And that wasn't necessarily a good idea. The hat doesn't always want to stay on. Maggie was wearing it around earlier, and it kept flopping over like this, <laughs> which, um, which is okay, but I'm just letting you know that when you use a firmer or stiff yarn, um, this happens to be impeccable, the Michaels store brand. And they just, I don't know, they just seem to have more body in them um, for presentation. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It just looks, it just looks a little better. Now, impeccable is a good yarn in that it's not real scratchy uh, without washing. So that would be a good choice. But, um, but anyway, just throwing that out there. Now, another rerun is my, um, <laughs> it's called Cape with Cuffs, but I tend to call it my manta ray cape because essentially all it is is two parts that look like a big giant manta ray. Then you sew them together at the cuffs like that. And you sew half 
of the manta ray together. See? And then you end up with essentially a cape. And then you put the cuffs on and it kind of keeps it in place so that it ends up being more along the lines of a shawl that stays on, I guess. But I love it. It is a paid pattern as well. And I will link to the video where I talked about that. So you can hear the particulars. I did alter it a little bit. I wanted to make sure that it was going to fit me. and. Uh, but because it, it's like one size fits most and one size does not fit me because I'm 5'2", so everything is too long on me, you know, so I knew I had to alter it in some way and it was pretty easy. Once you understand how it's made, it's easy to say, oh, okay, well, I want it shorter, so I will do this or whatever. Want it longer, you will add here. You know, it'll, it'll work out like that. But I really like the cuffs on it. It keeps it it's, it's more than just, just a shawl. It, it keeps it on your shoulders, and it's very comfortable. So I pull that thing out. I've had it for several years now, and, and uh, as soon as it gets cold enough, which it is, I'm actually kind of cold sitting out here today, but they tell us it's going to warm up to 72 for Thanksgiving, which should be about perfect weather. Well, maybe not traditional for most of you, but, but a 72-degree day is heaven for us. We love that. For those of you who like to sew and quilt, look at this pretty quilt. It's called a prayer quilt, and it was made by a friend of mine from church named Beverly. You can see her in the background of this picture. And she made this for another friend of ours in our Sunday school class who is battling cancer again. This is like the third time. And um, she has the most wonderful spirit about the whole thing, too. It's, she's, a, she's a wonderful person, but anyhow, um, Beverly made this quilt and there's little threads on each one of the little squares and you say a prayer for that person and you tie a knot in it and every knot represents prayers of people who care about you. So I thought that was really neat. So she brought that for us to, to uh, add before she gave it to Judy for, uh, you know, a happy, a warmth, just to make you feel good and loved because she is. We adore our Judy. And I have a few more Christmas reruns for you. This was a loom knit hat that I did without a pattern. I had seen pictures on Pinterest and just did this myself. You can look at Ravelry and do a search on Santa belt hat and you'll get a different sampling of uh, different styles if you need a pattern. So here you go for that idea. Now, a while back, I did these three holiday scarves. Now, they were done on the Addy, but I carefully measured each section and wrote that all out so that they could be recreated in any yarn medium. You could loom knit it, you could machine knit it, you could use needles to knit it, or you could do crochet, because once you have the measurements, you can figure out when to start and stop. So these are all loaded into Ravelry and I'll give the links into the in the description box below. Now some of what I've been working on I can't show you because it's Secret Santa stuff so I can't talk about that right now. But um, and also I've got my kids home, all three kids home. So uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time to be doing a whole lot more than what you've seen here. <laughs> so, which is a lot actually. I've done a lot of these guys. It's very fast. I want to throw that out too. Very fast pattern. But crochet, I just can't get over how fast it is after you start knitting and you realize it's much slower. But um, yeah, the most tedious part is sewing these buttons on and sewing each of the pieces on because I am not good at that. I've um, 
had to put one on, put on, put an ear on, and then I swear I think I'm putting the ear in the right place. And I sew it on and I look and it's not, or the nose is crooked or whatever. So I'm, I'm not good at that. So for those of you who are, <laughs> this would be a really extra fast pattern. But, um, but anyhow, I, I am enjoying my kids for a week. My oldest made some comment of, well, we've got all week, we've got a whole week. And I'm thinking to myself, we have only a week. <laughs> you know? So time flies when you're having fun. So we're going to go to the movies in a little while, and um, I am not one of those people who can knit or crochet in the movies. I have to see what I'm doing, so I will just sit quietly in the dark, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Bye.